everyone, it's GFX Rhodes, and I'm here to give you a quick tutorial on how to use multiple rigs in your GFX for Roblox. What you'll want to do, guys, is you open up that file, I will post it for you, of the woman. This is the woman rig, and then I'm going to go ahead and add her material, get her already beautiful, and I'll show you how to add the additional rig into the file. Okay, I found my texture image, which I found by, of course, going to Roblox Studio and getting that. If you need to know how to do that, you'll want to watch my video on how to import all of those items in. Now we need to delete this uh, face part and we'll add the rest. And now we need to add in her, her body. When we import the model, the most important part you want to do is make sure that you have this split up by groups. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to grab it. You also need to scroll out to find the object. Probably have to move off of it to get the set origin to come up when you right click. Origin to ge geometry. You pull it down and rotate it around. Now, of course, you don't want to move it that way, so you hit Z and it will move it for you. Then you type in 180 and that will get it straight on for you, 180 degrees. You'll want to move it over and get rid of all of these parts. But you guys know this part. That's not what you're here for. So my apologies, but this is the first step to getting in the multiple rig. So now what we want to do is after we've got her face set on just right of course you can use the uh, lines to help you make sure that you've got it then we're going to add in the other model okay so what you actually want to do now is you save this file as whatever um let's say two folks okay and we've saved it then we need to go back to the other rig file and bring that in so hold on just a second i'll do that okay now i've opened up the male rig okay the default man for roblox as it's called i believe so anyway i have highlighted it all you can also click literally on every little bit or just drag your cursor over uh, your mouse i mean just click and drag and then i'm going to hit Control c guys and that's going to copy it it will copy it rather garbly but it does copy it you do not need to save so you just need to go back to the file that you were working on and here you go it is the two folks and we just need to add it in hit control v and there it is now as you can see i don't have a cursor i want to keep all that highlighted i want to get rid of that junk so just click on the move again and it will reappear move it over and i need to start deleting all of this silly junk that has of course copied with it and become actual objects which we don't need so you just go through and delete all of these objects we don't need the head so we can delete that it's gonna make more objects no problem we just need to get in here and delete these things and then we add our material directly to the rig now you may be wondering why don't you just copy the woman rig well if you copy the woman rig then it will actually repeat that material what i mean is if i were to just take this take me here okay and repeat this just take her copy it and bring it over when i add the material to it i would have a million me's running around and i don't want that right i'm trying to get a different gfx in there i mean a different avatar for my gfx so this is one way there are many ways many different complicated ways uh, where you wouldn't have all of this extra stuff but who cares right i don't really care about all these extra wires they're not going to bother me that much if they really do you just get rid of it like that it's easy peasy okay so um some of them are helpful for grabbing which is why you want to keep some of them right because it it's your posing it's it's what helps you to pose the avatar okay but now i just need to add in my material and i will have 
a wonderful um, two-person GFX. So let's get to it. I've clicked here on the object. Any, any limb will work. And now I just need to go open a file. I'm on that texture spot. Open a file and find my person. I've got the material on and now I just need to, of course, bring in that, that object so we can finish off the avatar. I found the file. I just click on object, make sure that it is split by group and I import it and there he is. So now I need to, again, highlight and rotate him around. And decide what I want from his avatar. Don't know that I want the backpack, so I will get rid of that and bring him over with his smart, handsome glasses. Oh, we missed an arm! <laughs> and slide it right over, and now I can have fun posing these guys. Here we go. All right, guys. Now I will quickly make a GFX and show you guys just how this works. Okay, guys, here is the result after much play with the two models. I hope this video has been helpful to you so that you can now see how to have multiple models in one gfx for your roblox avatars thank you so much for watching i've really enjoyed being with you i hope you've enjoyed being with me please let me know any other videos that you're looking for i'd be happy to make them for you thank you so much for watching you have a really great day Bye bye